If you're a student, freelancer, remote worker, or a tech enthusiast looking for a PDF tool with powerful AI integration, UPDF 2.0 might just surprise you. And to support that statement, we will explore why it's become one of my go-to apps for working with PDFs and how it stacks up in terms of value and performance. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know I value tools that make workflows smoother, and UPDF has been a consistent favorite. It's affordable, about one-sixth the price of Adobe Acrobat, cross-platform, and packed with features like AI summarization, translation, and an intuitive UI. Let's take a closer look at UPDF's latest update, version 2.0, and why it might actually shift the way you think about working with PDFs. Now UPDF 2.0 comes with a fresh logo, a redesigned modern UI, and a much stronger AI backbone, now supporting GPD 4.1 and DeepSeek R1. On top of that, there are new batch tools and more customization options that make navigating large documents or repetitive edits far more comfortable. This video will focus primarily on how I use its AI tools, which is where UPDF really shines. And while this video is sponsored by UPDF, everything I'm showing you is based on how I genuinely use the tools in my own workflow. So here's a bit of personal context. Over the past two years, I've been exploring the philosophy of stoicism, mostly through authors like Ryan Holiday, and that led me to dive deeper into original texts, including Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. So I downloaded this PDF translated by Jared Rendell, and I wanted to break it down and study it more meaningfully as part of my personal research. To help me absorb the information better, I'm using UPDF 2.0, and this is where the AI comes in. This PDF has over 280 pages of rich, old-school writing, and I do want to read it all, but realistically, I also want to process it faster. So here's how I use UPDF AI summarization feature. First off, I load the PDF into the software, and I'll prompt UPDF AI to summarize the whole PDF for me. You can immediately click on Summarize, but because I want a specific kind of summary, here's the prompt that I used. Summarize the document and include chapters. Highlight key points written by Marcus Aurelius that talk about self-control, leadership, virtue, and discipline. Translate Old English into Modern English. Within a minute, I get a structured overview with filtered themes based on my input, which is honestly a game changer for tackling long-form reading. Of course, it doesn't replace reading the whole thing, but it certainly gives me a map to start with before diving deep. And speaking of maps, let's talk about the AI Mind Mapping tool. This feature lets you visually map out sections of a PDF. I asked UPDF to generate a mind map for pages 70 to 164, basically the meat of meditations where Marcus reflects on leadership and personal growth, and the result, a clear, organized visual that shows how ideas are interconnected. You can download the mind map as a reference, which is especially helpful for students or anyone doing research. It gives you a bird's eye view something most PDF editors just don't offer. Now let's talk about one of my favorite tools, which is AI Explain. When you're dealing with dated language or complex ideas, this tool translates those into modern, digestible explanations. For example, I selected a paragraph filled with archaic phrasing and UPDF AI instantly rephrased it for today's language. You can also prompt it to explain concepts with real life examples, which is super useful if you're studying or writing a paper. The AI Translate tool is also fast and responsive. If you encounter an unfamiliar word like staunchly, <laughs> UPDF can not only define it, but also offer simpler synonyms. You can also translate entire passages into different languages. In my case, I asked it to translate the word into Filipino, which it handled seamlessly. Now I know the word staunchly means determined or matatag in Filipino. Here's a powerful feature that's often overlooked. You can actually upload an image containing text. In this case, a slide containing a quote from Marcus Aurelius. UPDF AI can extract the text for you, making it editable and searchable. But not only that, it can also summarize or translate it, making it useful for scanned documents, books, or printed handouts. Now, these features are great, but a quick word of advice. If you're working on a school project, thesis, or research paper, don't let AI do all the work. Think of UPDF AI as a springboard. It helps us summarize, translate, and explain content faster. But it's still our job to cross-check, think critically, and put the pieces together. These tools are meant to support our learning, and at the end of the day, it's still our job to weave the information together. Now back to some features. Aside from the AI tools, UPDF still comes with all the core features that you'd expect. Text editing, annotation, page rotation, highlighting, and many more. Its OCR tool has also improved significantly much faster than before and great for converting scanned PDFs to editable text. And you now get UI themes, including dark mode, which I personally prefer 
for reading long texts. Now on to the comparison. Here's a quick side-by-side -side visual comparing UPDF 2.0 with Adobe Acrobat. As you can see, both offer solid editing capabilities, but UPDF pulls ahead in terms of AI integration and affordability. And speaking of affordability, here's a pricing breakdown. UPDF offers a lifetime license, something Adobe Acrobat doesn't. That alone could make a huge difference depending on your use case. So to wrap things up, if you're looking for a lightweight but capable tool that lets you read, annotate, and even talk to your PDFs, UPDF 2.0 is definitely worth trying out. It's not meant to replace more enterprise-level software if you're in legal or corporate environments, but for most students, freelancers, and individual professionals like me, it's more than enough. You can download UPDF for free using the link in the description, and if you want to unlock the full features including AI, you can use my discount code as well. As usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. For behind the scenes and updates, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.